Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning how to make a stop sign detector. So what's that, right? So when I click on the green flag, I have my usual code, but then when I click on the stop sign, I get this very unusual stop sign, which is kind of funny because when I click on the stop sign, it's supposed to stop the code, but instead it's giving me the stop sign. So what are the uses of a stop sign detector? So it can actually be very useful. For example, it can be used for thumbnails. So when I click on the stop sign, the thumbnail glides down and makes this cool effect. So as you can see, here's another example. So then when I click on the stop sign, it glides down and it's a very nice effect for the player to see. And you may get a few extra followers for that. So let's get started without any further waste of time. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular YouTube videos and scratch tutorials. So I have deleted all my code and now I want you to go ahead and choose a sprite or paint a sprite, right? So we're going to make a quick thumbnail or just two costumes about how you want your thumbnail to slide down or if you just want it to show and then if you click on the stop sign, it's just going to switch to a different costume. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have two different costumes. So when I click on the green flag, it's going to display this green flag costume. And then when I click on the stop sign, it's going to display this stop sign costume. So let's get started right away. So first I want to show you a quick built-in function called timer. This is going to be very useful for a project. So when I click on the green flag, this timer is going to keep running. And then when I click on the stop sign, it's still going to keep running. But let's compare it with this. As you can see, I have made a timer variable, and then when I click on the green flag, it starts running as well. But then when I click on the stop sign, it stops running. But then this built-in function on Scratch still keeps running, which is going to be very useful for a project in the future. So let's get started with the coding. So first, I'm going to say one click, and I'm going to go into the look section and say show, go to front layer, switch costume to the first one, which is click for me in this example. And then after that, I'm going to say one click, I'm going to get a forever loop and I'm going to say set this timer. So if you haven't already made this variable, make sure to um, make this variable. And then I'm going to say set timer to timer. So this variable timer is also going to be equal to the timer right here. And then after that, I'm going to go to this not very used block called when this is greater than this. So I'm going to say when timer is greater than this timer, so the variable timer. So what does this do? So this timer right here is this built-in function. So as I said earlier, when you click on the stop sign, this timer keeps running, but the variable timer actually stops. So let me just show you what happens. So when we click on the green flag, they both are going to be equal. But then when I click on the stop sign, this timer is going to stop and this, this timer is going to keep going on. So the built-in function is going to keep moving on. So that's how we detect if or when to change the thumbnail or change the costume and, and when we clicked on the stop sign. So let's go ahead and do this code. And then after that, I'm going to say, I'm going to go into the look section and then I'm going to switch costume to stop. So as you can see, when I click on the green flag, they, it shows the green flag. But then when I click on the stop sign, it shows the stop sign, which is what I wanted. But how would this work for thumbnails, right? So let me just show you how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the second sprite and then I'm going to rename this to totally good thumbnail. And of course, this is not like a good thumbnail. It's really bad because it's super simple and no one's going to view this project if I make this thumbnail. But just for the sake of this project, I'm just going to leave this thumbnail. So I'm going to delete this switch costume to stop and then I'm just going to name this costume quick. So it's already named quick and then I'm going to say when this timer is greater than this timer, I'm going to go all the way to the top. Zero, 600 or 500 is fine. But to go to the very top, we can do 600. So as you can see, when this timer is greater than timer, it's going to go to zero, 600. And then we're going to go into the control section and then we're going to say repeat until. We're going to go into the motion section, get a Y position and get a up, go into the operator section and get a equal sign and then get a repeat until Y position is equal to zero. We're going to slide down. So we're going to go into the motion section and then we're going to say change Y by going to the operator section 
get a minus block and a division block. So put the minus block inside the first of the division block. And we're going to put like a five. So this is kind of like a smoothness effect. So we're going to put a zero in the first flank. In the motion section, we're going to put zero minus y position divided by five. So this is going to be a very smooth glide. So let's try this. So as you can see, this is a very smooth glide. So just to see how this works, I'm just going to put this go to x0, y600 at the top. And then when I'm going to click on the green flag, it's going to go here. But then when I stop the project, it's going to go down. So this is how you make a stop sign detector, which can be super duper useful. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you guys in the next video.